Hi, I'm Jay from Real Street Performance. Today we're gonna to talk about everything you need to know about your Toyota 2JZ valve train lifter, AKA the bucket. The Toyota 2JZ uses a very simple valve train system. A flat tap and camshaft actuates a solid lifter that has an adjustment shim housed in the top of the lifter. Adjustments are rarely needed, but if you do need to make an adjustment, it's as simple as changing the thickness of the shim riding on top of the lifter. As the quest for more horsepower and RPM persists, the factory shim over bucket design quickly shows its limitations. As the lobe diameter of the camshaft grows with added lift and duration, the camshaft lobe can hit or nick the corner of the shim, spitting it out and causing damage to the camshaft. The next problem that the factory shim over bucket lifter presents is weight. As you move engine speeds into the 8,000, 9,000, 10,000 RPM range, you wanna have the least amount of weight on top of that valve spring, helping the valve spring stay in control longer, avoiding engine damaging valve float. The options we'll present in this video are 10 to 15 grams lighter per lifter. If you're ready to move away from the factory shim over bucket design, there are two options you can easily install without removing the cylinder head from the engine. The first of which is the Toyota OEM shimless bucket. They're available in a variety of sizes, allowing you to attain the correct valve lash, again, without removing the cylinder head from the engine. The second option is from Supertech. Supertech offers a nitrated chromoly 4140 bucket that utilizes an interchangeable snap-in puck for valve adjustment. The pucks are available in a variety of sizes, again, allowing you to get your valve lash right without taking the cylinder head off the car. Measuring for a shimless bucket conversion with a cylinder head on the car is not difficult to do. You'll need a set of feeler gauges to make sure that your valve lash is within the specification. Then you can take the camshaft back out of the engine, take that shim of a bucket lifter out, measure it with a micrometer. Once you have that value, you'll know what shimless bucket you need to order. If the valve lash is not within spec for the camshaft manufacturer, you can easily reach for the factory service manual and use the factory Toyota shim matrix to determine what shimless bucket you need to order based off of the valve lash that you currently have. If the cylinder head is off of the engine and headed to the machine shop, it may be smart to invest in a set of coated buckets. DLC coated buckets are currently available through Supertech and Kelford, but they're only available in a couple different sizes. The machine shop will either be sinking the valve into the head to close the valve lash or tipping the valve to open the valve lash to achieve a valve adjustment. This is not an at-home operation. The DLC coated bucket offers the most amount of protection for both camshaft damage and lifter damage in both extreme operation and with the use of steel camshafts. It's worth noting that Supertech in their instructions say they don't want a Supertech bucket used on a steel camshaft without a DLC coating. As I mentioned earlier in the video, the 2JZ is a flat tappet camshaft. It is subjected to all the problems and risks any flat tappet engine is subjected to. As the camshaft rotates, it swipes the face of the lobe across the face of the lifter. If the lubrication is displaced or compromised, you will experience abnormal wear at the camshaft and or the lifter. Coated buckets help protect against abnormal wear and failure. At some point, Toyota acknowledged that there was risk for failure on the camshaft and lifter as they've taken apart a handful of JDM engines that have a tin coated shim instead of just a bare steel shim. As you wrap up your camshaft and or shimless bucket conversion, I recommend using a high quality racing oil and or ZDDP additive in the oil during break-in. You wanna get the engine fired up into an engine speed of say 2000 to 2500 RPM for about 15 minutes this will help protect you against wiping a camshaft lobe out or damaging a new lifter. If you have any questions about camshaft selection or any other valve train components, feel free to reach out. I appreciate you watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.